you know what I, I wanted to ask you? I just, what I you just thought ask, about man? you was talking about your grandma. And yeah. I just thought about my grandma, and my mama, right? Yeah. And I go I go visit them sometime. Mm-hmm. Do you ever I always think about how much all the times they said I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, and how they felt about me when they were here. And like I'm like, damn, they everybody passed away. Grandma passed away in 2018. My mama passed away in 2021. We in 2023, and I'm still waiting on the sign, like some kind of sign. Like, talk to me. I go to the graveyard. I go to the grave site, mm-hmm. and I and I show up, play him a little gospel. All right, ladies, now I'm here now. Now you can talk to me. Give me some. I ain't even gonna tell nobody. I ain't gonna tell nobody. I'm all right. I'm listening. You know, just yeah, nothing. And I still haven't gotten a sign. Do you think? I hate to bring this up. Do you think there is life after death? Or it because I I'm I'm trying to understand how can you love me so much and leave this earth and then not give me any not talk to you inclination yeah like no like no nothing um and that that's, that's bothered me for a while especially yeah I, I I I do like, come back and cuss me out or something I mean um my sister is, is is probably more spiritual than I am and she said that Granny has come to her uh she hasn't. I mean, I think about it all the time, but I, I, I honestly, Ocho, in my 44 years, I don't think my grandmother ever told me she loved me. She showed me she loved me. Okay. 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 And I, I remember <clears throat> the real last conversation I had with my grandmother mm. and uh, it was, uh, they was doing this special. It was 2011. Mike Cliss, right for the local Denver paper. And he was coming down cause I was going into the hall of fame and they was going to do a story. And so I was showing him all around. I showed him to the, took him to the old house. I took him where you know was the old schools were. He met my my uh, uh, my coach, my uh, my high school coach, Coach Hall, the one that was on first take, you know. And so we, my grandmother was in the nursing home at that time. And uh, after we had been gone for like two hours, I come back, and she's crying. Hmm. So I'm going to the room, and he coming up. I, I stop him. I do it like this. So. I go sit on the bed and she's crying uncontrollably. I remember like yesterday, Ocho, and I said, Granny, what's wrong? And I knew something was wrong. She just crying. I said, Granny, I got it. I said, Libby, Spanky, Mama, I got them. You can go. Let go, Granny. I got them. Your baby going to hold it down so you don't have to worry no more. You and Papa did your job. Now go rest. Man, Ocho, this was like, this like on my birthday. Like six days later. Mm. She tell Libby and Mama, y'all going home. I don't know where y'all staying. I want to go to sleep. This was like, because Libby normally stays till about 5, 30, 6 o'clock, eat, right. get a change, get everything, get her situated. Then she would leave. My sister went up there every day to the nurse home, every day for two years, every day. She said, why don't y'all go? My mom was up there at the time. She said, why don't y'all go on home? I mean, I can't get no rest with y'all in here. They leave probably about 430. People call it 445. Miss Mary gone. She didn't want them to see her. But she couldn't go until her baby told him, I got it, Granny. Mm. Once I told my Granny that I had it, that I got my brother, I got my sister, I got my mom, because that's all she was worried about. Right. She knew I was, she had, hey, I'm a baby. She, I was, I was built. She raised three the hard way. She raised her nine and gave my mom three everything but life. She needed to hear me say it. Granny, I got it. So now I held everything. My mom, I got it. My brother, bro, you want whatever you want to do, you ain't got to do nothing. Right. And you don't have to do. And people are like, well, what your brother do? I say, he don't do nothing. And but he don't do that before 12 o'clock because I got it. Mm. My sister, I got him. That's so. Yeah, Ocho, I just, but see, I, people like you, you you have to understand, like you, the relationship, because I slept in the bed with my grandmother until I was 15. 
<laughs> Even when my grandfather died, I didn't go sleep. With, I didn't sleep in the bed with my brother. I slept with my granny. Right. And I told her, I said, I'm going well, to sleep with you. And had my brother not, I said, I'm going to sleep with you. I'm going to sleep in the bed with you, granny, until I get grown. I said, I might get me a wife and we sleep in the bed with you together. <laughs> to my, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> so, but you go get your rusty tail out of this bed. Right. But the relationship and what she like, what she instilled in me, the values, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's how, that's why I think the way I think. 